I tell you, there was something odd about that journey. Something not quite right. Something I still dream about. I saw the scarecrow. Scarecrow? Scarecrow. I'm sorry, go on. A scarecrow in a field by the railway. I dreamt about that thing last night. It had got out of the field. Mm-hmm. Even at the time, from the train, I mean, going up to London, coming back again, looking out of the train window, I had a strong feeling it was alive and watching. Watching? Me, watching me. So it has eyes. What? Whose eyes? Whose face? Look, this is a scarecrow, not but a... But if it's watching you, hmm? Why? What for? What does it think that you've done? Look, this is a dream, right? Right. The face, I know it, I know it, I just can't quite... Is it your mother? What? Your mother, is it her face? No. How did she die? She killed herself. How? River. In the river. Are you? Is that really so? What do you mean? Well, it's just that you've got a young woman fished out of the river in your detective story. Well, so so. I'm just a little surprised. I ask myself, is it very likely that you would so exactly duplicate such a traumatic event in your own life? A face! Of a... I know who it is. I'm sorry? She used to frighten me, the bitch. Your mother? No. No, the teacher in the village school. Pointing that finger. God rot her nasty old bones. Aren't you being a little... <laughs> you just don't know writers. They'll use anything, anybody. They'll eat their own young. So do rabbits when they're disturbed. <sighs> Once I did something bad. I mean nasty, I mean really disgusting at school, at the primary school. I was nearly caught. I was in for it and bad. But I blamed somebody else. I pointed the finger elsewhere. Long ago and far away. I've never doubted since what people are really made of. Who did it? We all have blood on our teeth. Tell me, there's a good boy. Mark Binney, miss. It was Mark Binney. Mark Binney. No, miss, it wasn't. Come out to the front. No, miss, no. Come here, boy. Philip, you may go back to your desk for the wire. Yes. Thank you, Philip. Miss, stop me, miss. Honest, miss. Honest. Honest. We'll see about that, won't we, my boy? We are going to find out, aren't we? We are going to find out if it takes us the rest of the day. Yes, Barbara. It was a looking at by the big tree, Miss Inwes. He? How many times? He was, Miss. Oh, but Miss... Be quiet. Did you see him go back into the school? Yes, Miss. Miss? Go on. Him told... He told I that he was... Me? How many times? He told me, Miss. Told you, told you what? <laughs> he told me that he was gonna... Barbara. Him said that he was going to do his nasty on the table, <laughs> miss. I saw him, miss. And me. And me. And me, miss. And me, miss. Is that nice? I saw him, miss. And me, miss. I saw him as well. And me, miss. I did too. And I saw him, miss. Oh, miss Chen True. Honest, miss Chen True. I sat at my desk, perjurer, charlatan. And watched and listened and watched and listened as one after another after another. They nailed that poor lad, hands and feet, to my story. I've not seriously doubted since that afternoon that 
any lie will receive almost instant corroboration and almost instant collaboration if the maintenance of it results in the public enjoyment of someone else's pain, someone else's humiliation. Oh, God, she beat him. A poor boy, she beat him. Vicious bitch! <laughs> Interestingly, what is interesting is the lad himself was completely overwhelmed by the evidence. He was a backward boy. Although we didn't think in those terms at the time, you know, amongst ourselves. I mean, I used to see him sometimes in the woods. He'd be running. He was almost always running. What best I doing, Mark, I'd say? Training, he'd answer. <laughs> Just that. Training for what? The poor little sod came in the end to believe that he had done it. Yes, miss. Yes, miss. And that he had done what? Shat on the teacher's table. It has, of course, occurred to you that you yourself were in extreme distress at this time. A few years ago, I told something like the whole story to a man who used to live in the same village. We were laughing about it, you know. Ho, ho, ho. I wonder, I wonder, I said, whatever became of Mark Binney? That was my victim, Mark Binney. Don't you know, he said. And he was looking at me with an odd sort of glint. Nasty, you know, the way you do. Mark's in the loony bin, he said. Been there for years. Complete nutter. Yes, miss. And you did, didn't you? Yes, miss. And you came back and you did this filthy thing? Yes, miss. And you're a filthy, wicked, horrible little... Sorry, yeah. Don't be. <laughs>